good morning my dear students of standard 10th today we will discuss about the critical angle and the total internal reflection of light now let us know when light passes from denser medium to rarer medium it bends in which direction yes it bends away from the normal when light passes from denser to rarer so this is the denser glass this is the air so when light passes from denser to rarer it bends away from the normal angle of incidence angle of refraction light bends away from the normal when it passes from denser to rarer I have one increasing angle of incidence, but let me angle of refraction also will increase. So if this is the angle of incidence, angle of incidence is increased, then angle of refraction will also increase. So if we go on increasing the angle of incidence, angle of refraction also will increase. Now for a particular angle of incidence, for a particular angle of incidence. Angle of refraction will be 90 degree. The refracted ray will pass on the surface of separation of the two media. For a particular angle of incidence, angle of refraction will be 90 degree. Angle of refraction will be 90 degree for a particular angle of incidence. So for this angle of incidence, the angle of refraction is 90 degree. So this angle of incidence for which uh, this angle of incidence for which the angle of refraction is 90 degree is called critical angle. It is represented by IC. I is for angle of incidence, C is for critical angle. In some of the books, only C is taken. Critical angle is taken as capital C. In some of the books, you can write capital C. In some of the books, sir, it is taken as capital C. So you can write capital C or IC. I is for angle of incidence, C is for critical angle. Correct? Now for glass and air, again let me draw the diagram here. For glass and air, glass and air, critical angle is glass and this is air. For glass and air, critical angle is 42 degrees. If this is 42 degree, angle of incidence is 42 degree, angle of refraction will be 90 degree. So, critical angle for glass and air is 42 degree. Critical angle for glass and air is 42 degree. Similarly, for uh, water and air, critical angle is 48 degree. For diamond, for water and air, it is 48 degree and for diamond, it is 24 degree. 24 degree for diamond, critical angle for diamond is 24 degree and for water it is 48 degree, for glass it is 42 degree. So the critical angle is different for different pair of media. Correct? So it depends on the nature of the medium. Critical angle is different for different uh, substances. For water, it is 48. For glass, 42. Diamond, 24. Similarly, for different transparent medium, critical angle is different. Then, uh, the other factors on which critical angle depends are uh, temperature. If the temperature of the medium is different, critical angle will be different. It is directly proportional to the temperature. Critical angle is directly proportional to temperature of the medium. Similarly, uh, critical angle depends on the wavelength of light used. That is the color of light used. If the wavelength is uh, more, critical angle will be more. If wavelength is less, critical angle will be less. For red light, wavelength is more, so critical angle will be more for red light. For violet wavelength is less, so critical angle will be less for uh, violet. So violet is directly, this critical angle is directly proportional to temperature, critical angle is directly proportional to temperature and critical angle is directly proportional to wavelength of light use, that is 
lambda. It is directly proportional to wavelength of light used. So it depends on these two factors and it depends on the nature of the substance also. Clear? So this is about critical angle. Now what is total internal, total internal reflection of light? Total internal reflection of light. Now see here, if we go on increasing angle of incidence, angle of refraction increases. Now for this critical angle, angle of refraction is 90 degree. Now if you increase the angle of incidence more than this. If the angle of incidence is more than critical angle. If the angle of incidence is more than critical angle. Angle of incidence is more than critical angle. Then what level? Light will not pass into the second medium. It will reflect to the same medium following the laws of reflection. It will follow the laws of reflection and will return to the same transparent medium. So this is called total internal reflection of light. Total internal reflection of light. This is transparent medium but it will not pass to the second medium. It will return to the same medium following the laws of reflection. It will follow the laws of reflection. That's why this is known as total internal reflection of light. Total internal reflection of light. Clear? So if the angle of incidence is greater than critical angle, the ray will return to the same medium following the laws of reflection. This is total internal reflection. So for example, we have for glass, critical angle is 42 degree, now if the angle of incidence is 50 degree. If the angle of incidence here is 50 degree. If the angle of incidence is 50 degree, light will return to the same medium following the laws of reflection. So this angle of reflection, angle of incidence is 50 degree, so angle of reflection will also be 50 degree. It will follow the laws of reflection and it will return to the same medium. Clear? It will follow the laws of reflection and it will return to the same medium. So this is, if this is 50, this will be 50. If the angle of incidence is more than 42, because critical angle is 42 per glass, so if the angle of incidence is more than that, it will reflect to the same medium following the laws of reflection. Clear? Similarly, if it is water, for water, say this is water, this is water and this is air, then if the angle of incidence is, for water, what is the critical angle? 48 degree. If the angle of incidence is greater than 48, say if this is 60, then it will return to the same medium following the laws of reflection. This angle will also be 60 degree. Clear? Followed what is total internal reflection of light? When the angle of incidence is greater than critical angle, the ray will return to the same medium following the laws of reflection. This is known as total internal reflection of light. Clear? And what is critical angle? Critical angle is the angle of incidence in the denser medium for which the angle of the refraction in the rarer medium is 90 degree. Clear? So what are the conditions for total internal reflection of light? Conditions for total internal reflection of light. Under what condition total internal reflection will take place? One is light should pass from denser to rarer. If light will pass from rarer to denser, there is no question of critical angle, no question of total internal reflection of light. Because rarer to denser means light will bend towards the normal. So angle of refraction cannot be 90 degree. It is going on degree here. Angle of refraction will not be 90 degree. So uh, light should pass from denser to rarer. This is the first condition for total internal reflection of light. And the, what is the second one? Second one is the angle of incidence should be greater than critical angle. If the angle of incidence is greater than critical angle, then total internal reflection will take place. So these are the two conditions for total internal reflection of light. One is light should pass from denser to rarer. Second one is the angle of incidence should be greater than critical angle. 
clear now for diamond the critical angle is how much 24 degree it is very less for diamond critical angle is uh, very less so if the angle of incidence is greater than 24 degree and light is passing from denser to say the for diamond to air angle of incidence is greater than 24 degree total internal reflection of light will take place light cannot come out of diamond that is why diamond sparkles sparkling of light is due to the low critical angle of diamond whatever light will enter into diamond it will be trapped inside diamond it's difficult to come out of diamond because of its low critical angle so it sparkles clear students understood what is critical angle and critical angle depends on what factors then what is total internal reflection of light and uh, tot conditions for total internal reflection of light clear thank you